Hey guys, Master Ningen here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video and so you probably knew this was coming if you're not new to the channel, I always do one of these and the time of uploading should be about 12 hours before the event actually drops but we are doing a team building video for the physical legendary Super Saiyan Broly Extreme Z Battle. I'm really looking forward to this one, I was a big fan of the physical Broly back in the day. And uh, he very quickly became one of the most irrelevant of the 70% leaders. So it's a standard 30 stage EZA. Uh, he loses, you lose effectiveness of int type units very early on. But obviously he is physical anyway. So you're probably not going to want to bring a lot of them. Then AGL and then physical. So notice that tech is not on here. And that will be very important for one of the choices coming up. So... Obviously, like I said, standard 30 stage one, you get all the medals to EZA him, you get a whole bunch of physical orbs. I always like this because a lot of the time the EZA units for me are already rainbowed or at like whatever max I can get them to. So all these orbs are nice and spare for another unit. And then of course we get 11 physical Grand Kai's and the 30 stones. Probably will end up using 5 of these for his uh, SA to get him to 15. But then that leaves you with a nice 6 left over. You also get 4 Dragon Stones for completing all the missions. So it's 34 in total. And uh, yeah, Hybrid Saiyans is the way to go. So obviously I've got the Hybrid Saiyans thing up on the wiki here. Uh, we don't have the future Gohan, so STR Ultimate Gohan is still your best bet for leader for Hybrid Saiyans. Um, but with some of the new units that we've gotten recently, uh, the this is STR Gohan, we'll talk about him in a little bit. Uh, AGL Gohan, so the Kamehameha category obviously is full of Hybrid Saiyan units. So you can run him as a leader. Um, also, I don't think, yeah, I didn't open up his page. Another unit is, as you notice, we don't get tech drop off the damage against Broly. So the Go Bros are going to be really good for this event. But you could also use them as a leader with Siblings Bond. Because obviously all adult Gohans, Goten, um, things, people like the Buller support unit and the GT Trunkses, they're all in here. So these both make really good sub leaders. Um, you could probably even argue that just for the first 30 stages, it would actually be easier to use one of these two um, because they'll have the higher leader skill for damage. So you'll be able to actually kill uh, Broly faster. Whereas obviously the Gohan, his leader skill is more focused on HP and defense. But basically all three of those are good leaders to use. Obviously we know Gohan very quickly will become able to not take a lot of damage but as we saw Broly does gain a damage reduction against AGL units quite early on so on the stages higher than 30 um, this Gohan will probably still be very good defensively but he won't be that good um, offensively and obviously you won't really have an android on the team so he's never going to transform so we're going to talk about some top picks um, starting off with another LR we of course have LR B-Pan she is absolutely perfect for this event she's a hybrid Saiyan she's an LR so she's got decent stats she's STR so she's got type advantage and of course, easy A's, you cannot use items. So the fact that she recovers 33% of the damage dealt as HP is very, very good. And of course, if her guarding passive activates, um, even in the higher stages, she's just not going to take any damage. So the trade-off there is going to be huge. She's going to take very little damage while also regaining you a decent amount of damage. And then of course, her active skill only requires the third turn. So once you get to stage 30, or if you do play plan to go higher if you have her on the first rotation you're going to get onto the third turn Broly's probably going to be close to being dead anyway and then yeah you can just pop her active skill and just blow him away so she is definitely a top pick for the team and then going on from her we have the other STR pan now obviously she got an awakening a while ago and became a very good defensive unit she causes supreme damage, raises defense for 6 turns, so obviously once she's supered she'll take a little bit less damage. But she has a built-in chance to dodge, which goes up each turn to a maximum of 60%. But even on turn 1, it's 15%, which is not bad. It's just the equivalent of having level 15 dodge, so very good. And then of course she gets a buff for 7 turns, which units like this are ideal for easy A's. Because obviously things like the legendary Goku event, she would be terrible but easy a's are really never going to go on for seven turns or more 
Um, on the easier stages, you'll have won by then, and then on the harder stages, you either need to have won or you'll be dead by then. So she is perfect, and of course, with her links, you can just put her with B Pan, and that's a very, very good rotation. Um, then we will go on to this STR Future Trunks. Um, he again is a very good defensive unit, one who raises his defense when he super attacks. He reduces damage and the less health you have, the more of an attack and defense boost he gets. So obviously as you get a, state, a phase or two into the EZA, you're going to be on lower than full health depending on your whether you bought B-Pan or not. And so his attack and defense is just going to get higher depending on the situation. And of course, he has very good links. The Hybrid Saiyan team was always a little bit weird when it first came out because there was a weird mix of like prepared for battle, shocking speed, and then obviously if you brought the Gotenks is like fused fighter. But now it's gotten a little bit more balanced out and he has the good links like prepared for battle. Um, he also has Royal Lineage depending on whether you bring up any other Trunks or Vegeta family units and of course Golden Warrior as well. So he is very, very good. Then we have the EZA Goten. Uh, click onto the Easy A. Surely you'll have him Easy A'd by now if you have him. Uh, I know the family come home how Easy A is on or was on um, just recently. It might have gone away by the time the physical one drops. Um, so he's very good. When fully Easy A'd, he has very decent stats. Um, he gets attack and defense 70% as standard at the start of the turn and he raises defense with his super attack So he is very good obviously on this event where str hybrid saiyans are going to be the best units He's going to be very very good He's not going to take damage from normal attacks until you start getting to the higher stages and then Whilst he himself does not have prepared for battle He is an orb changer changing physical orbs to rainbows which will help make those connections because obviously changing an odd couple of orbs to rainbow is not necessarily great on its own for him but the best part about it is the fact that it will link up other clusters of orbs and make it a little bit easier for other people to super attack so going on to the next one we have the recently easy aid super saiyan 2 gohan obviously lr gohan not really good for this event because broly is physical um so this gohan will be an absolute beast on this team um, he's got very good stats. He greatly raises attack and causes immense damage. Um, he gets that attack boost at the start of the turn. You're obviously not going to have a Super Saiyan Goku on this build, or at least I don't advise bringing one just to get that extra 59%, but he's not going to need it. He's so good already anyway, and if he's fully easy aid, rainbow, super attack 15, he's going to hit like an absolute truck. And he, of course, has prepared for battle Golden Warrior, so he's going to be very, very good. I would say he is probably one of the top picks for an str unit for this team and then of course if you are running someone like the agl lr gohan they link up very well together so then we have a couple of support units and this guy this is a unit that i've talked about on the odd occasion because it seems like dokon forgot all about him i think a, a while ago i did a video about units that need a tur awakening and he was number one and since then it still hasn't happened but while he doesn't have terrible stats overall um, the main reason I've included him here is he is of course an STR hybrid Saiyan. He does supreme damage, raises attack for three turns, so he can at least do a reasonable amount of damage. But he is an STR type support unit. So if you're going for the team build where you are using um, STR Ultimate Gohan, and then basically a full STR team of hybrid Saiyans, then he's a very good pick solely for his passive. Obviously if you're putting in units like the AGL Gohan and the Gobros, maybe even running them as a rotation, then this guy, not as desirable, because uh, every time he floats into that rotation, he's basically not providing anything for you. But if you're running the full STR build, then I think he's a pretty good choice. But if not, we have a couple of other support units. And these guys are very useful because they fit under the Kamehameha and Siblings Bond categories as well. If you are choosing to use Gohan or the Gobros as your leader. Um, he is a 30% support unit for super class. Basically everyone on your team is going to be super class. And he does give a little bit of a defense uh, debuff. Although I believe, let's see, I don't think Broly's defense can be lowered once you get to... Is it 20? Oh, well, no, it's all earlier than that. Okay, so he can't be defense lowered. Oh, literally from like stage three. So <laughs> I guess technically that um, doesn't really do anything. But hey, this is the important part. Two key, 30% attack and defense. 
Grayley raises attack for one turn, so he can hit okay. But he was a World Tournament reward card, so not everyone's going to have him like fully duped out or anything. Um, but he is a very good pick for the team. And then, of course, a very similar unit is the other World Tournament support, Gohan. Uh, he basically does the same thing, but 25% instead of 30. Um, supreme damage, unfortunately... Easy A's can't be stunned after the first few stages anyway. Um, he is also on the sibling spawn team. He's not on the Kamehameha team, so you can't run him on the AGL Gohan version. But if you're running a GoBros variant for this Easy A, then he will be very useful as well. And then I've included a couple of other picks that they are both AGL units, so they will get that damage reduction. So they're not going to hit super hard, but... One of them, he doesn't really hit super hard anyway, really, is the Super Saiyan 3 Trunks. So the reason he's included it, as we've seen from the Legendary Goku event, even against MUI Goku at the end, this uh, Trunks takes very little damage. So he's got really high defense anyway. He raises his defense for nine turns, which gives you a good couple of stacks if he's on main rotation. And then, of course, he has that chance to guard. So he'll be blocking as if he was an STR unit anyway. So whilst he's not going to be able to do a lot of damage, if you're lacking on options for the team, then he's a good pick to put in. Because obviously you don't want to have to bring a much more subpar unit uh, that you want to keep floated off. And then there's like three attacks in the final slot. Whereas in that kind of situation, you can park this guy there and he's just going to take very little damage. Um, his link's not the best for this team. Not a lot of units on this team, well actually in fact none that we've gone over so far have over in a flash. A few of them will have Shattering the Limit. Um, at least he does have Golden Warrior. And then as we said, then we've covered at least one or two units that have Royal Lineage. But he's really only going to be there for defense so it's probably not the end of the world if you can't get super attacks with him and then i thought i'd give an honorable mention to this new guy that we have now the kid Saiyaman trunks again he's not going to do a huge amount of damage because he's only an agl unit but he infinitely stacks his defense he already starts with 70 percent attack and defense and then of course as you get more attacks off he builds up his attack and his chance to crit which like I said, he's never going to do huge damage to this Broly just because of the damage reduction against AGL units. But again, like the Super Saiyan 3 Trunks, he's definitely a good unit to fit in if you are a little bit short on fielding a full team of six. And then, of course, if you still struggle to make a team out of the units that we've mentioned so far, check out the wiki for the Hybrid Saiyans page. Uh, just having a quick scroll down. LR Trunks could be decent. He obviously raises his defense after he super attacks. Um, but before he gets supered, he'll probably take a fair amount of damage. But of course, as we've seen, Broly does get his damage reduction against physical units as well. So let's have a look at some of the tech ones. So Saiyaman 3, not great on a team that's not full of time travelers. So he's not going to be ideal. These couple of guys we don't have yet. Buller will be a good support unit. In fact, let's open up a tab for her. So she's obviously going to fit on the hybrid sense and siblings bond, but just not come Kamehameha. Um, she gives a 40% attack buff and has a built-in chance to dodge. Um, in fact, I think I probably should have included her already because she gets a built-in chance to dodge, which is 30% as standard because it counts her as one of the Peppy Gals allies. But then if you are bringing... Um, oh, wait, no. I've made a terrible mistake. Of course. Pan is not on the Peppy Gals category, so this part doesn't count. So she will still get the 30% chance to dodge. And then she's giving allies 3 key and 40% attack. Um, she doesn't really hit very hard. She will get hit quite hard. So I guess maybe she is just an honorable mention then. If uh, the Pan units were in Peppy Gals category, she would definitely be better because she'd have this 60% chance to dodge. But she's definitely a viable option um, if you need another one. Uh, also, this Gohan, I guess, can be a decent support unit. Uh, he is, of course, on Kamehameha as well as Hybrid Saiyans, but not Siblings Bond. He's a support for AGL tech and physical. So if you have brought the Go Bros and the AGL Gohan, um, he's a decent unit because he will provide support to both of them. But if you are running mainly STR units under the STR Ulma Gohan, then he definitely isn't the best pick. Um, and then the rest of these units are all kind of subpar. I guess the Easy A Gotenks, now that he is Easy A'd, He's not terrible, um, and he does raise his defense uh, as long as you get the 11 key or lower super attack. But I think before he supers, as you can see, he gets no defense from his passive, so he will get hit quite hard. Um, obviously, int units are 
pretty much a no-go just because of how much damage they'll take. None of them are particularly tanky enough that it would mitigate being uh, at type disadvantage. Um, so yeah, I think that's everybody covered. I guess this GT Trunks would be okay. Um, the Super Saiyan Gotenks, he doesn't have his EZA yet on Global, so he's probably not that great. But at least he is STR, so he does fit in if you're desperate for more Hybrid Saiyans units. Um, so Global, he doesn't have an EZA, so he just does Supreme Damage. And then, yeah, he gets no defense from his passive, so he's not ideal. But check out this list, or obviously, I guess the best way to do it in-game is... If you're going to use Gohan, set your leader, filter by Hybrid Saiyans, and see who you can run. But I feel like this is going to be one of those ones where if I can be bothered to put the time in, I can easily get way past stage 100. So we'll have to see how we get on with this one. So let me know down below in the comments, what team are you going to run? Are you going to run Hybrid Saiyans? Are you going to use Kamehameha or Siblings Bond? Let me know your team builds in the comments. You can also check out and join my Discord server. That link is always in the description, and we have team building um, sections in there if you need any extra advice um so yeah we can also talk about it more in the comments so that is going to be it for the video guys this has been the master again smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new you can also check out my twitch channel that link will be in the description as well and i will see you all again soon have a good one